today I'm going to make a Parmesan chicken with a warm green bean salad. Now I've got some really lovely free range chicken here that I'm going to just coat in some delicious Parmesan cheese with a little bit of beaten egg white as well. And for the salad I've got some nice green beans, some lemon, I've got some garlic, I've got some pine nuts and then I've got some paprika here which is also going to coat the chicken. In that pan here we've got some leeks which have just been cooking in a little bit of butter and then I'm going to add those. I'll just quickly put this in the pan because what I do... Okay. We want to leave that to cook slowly for about eight to ten minutes. It sounds like a long time on that one side, but the skin goes really nice and crispy, crispy. and golden. A whole load of strawberries in there. Really nice and ripe at the moment. And then a good dollop of some good quality strawberry yoghurt. Okay. You can use natural yoghurt, but the strawberry yoghurt just has a bit of sugar in it and it makes it really Stick some ice in there now. Tasty. You can stick some ice in it. I'm not going to because I think it waters everything down too mm. much. I don't like ice in smoothies. I'm going to do a posh fish finger sarni. I thought you might quite like some sort of nice simple food but just made a little bit more elaborate and extravagant. Now I'm making uh, a croque monsieur but I'm after a British cheese instead of using Gruyere. I don't know if there's anything you'd recommend. I'm not overcooking my noodles Mr. Warrell Thompson. And then you've got some coriander, some cumin, and then just a pinch of chilli powder. You can put bay leaf in there, some herbs, garlic, anything to sort of really help those flavours of the tomato if you want to. The thing is with shiitake mushrooms, they do really, really lend themselves to um, Asian. Oriental and Asian Ooh. style food. And I've really read his notes and he loves eeting in, in quite a lot of the top um, restaurants. You just want to toss it around basically in the pan until it starts to... Uh, Looks lovely. ...take on all those sticky flavours from the bottom. Now you really are feeding up one people, one well, person, aren't you? It's quite a portion, isn't it? <laughs> and to do the topping, I've got a mixture of some dry roasted peanuts and some spring onions. And I've got some North Sea brown shrimps, some cream cheese and some sweet chilli sauce. What's it like to be voted in the top? <laughs> budding people of 2007 in No, and... what a what an enormous compliment. <laughs> Well, I love Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire? I love olives. I don't think it's going to catch on in Yorkshire. You never know. Now, chilies, it's entirely up to you how much you use. I am going to take half a chilli, and I'm also going to take the membrane out, which is the hottest part. So I don't want it to be really fiery because it's not going to be cooked for long. I just want to have a little bit of bite to it. A lovely, simple piece of mackerel that I just marinated <laughs> in some lemon juice, lemon okay. zest, yep. some garlic, and some olive oil, and mm -hmm. some celery salt, and then just very nicely pan fried that to keep it nice and simple. Oh. And then the salad that we've got is some beetroot, some avocado, we've got some horseradish, some sour cream, uh, some tarragon, some lemon zest, and that is it really. It's nice and simple. A bit of cos lettuce as well, actually, just mm. for an added bit of crunch. I'm going to do a spicy lamb curry with a tomato raita using mm. all of my nice store covered ingredients as well. The weather's let us down, but at least the strawberries and cream haven't. 